This is Pat O'Connor, and the topic for this video is why the grade of construction is an important factor in determining your property taxes. Appraisal districts use the cost approach to value homes. And in the cost approach, they use a factor or per square foot amount to calculate the cost new for the property. And the cost new depends on the grade of construction. After they determine the cost new, they deduct depreciation and add the land value. And that's essentially how appraisal districts value homes. But they can't explain how they determine the grade of construction. This sounds incredible. It sounds like it's something made up. But the fact is we have asked appraisal districts multiple times to give us written documentation on how they determine the grade of construction for homes. They are not able to provide it. With two exceptions in the state of Texas, no other appraisal districts can provide us documentation on how they determine the grade of construction. The appraisers who determine the grade of construction tend to be the newer appraisers. The more experienced appraisers are involved in modeling, which is determining the precise calculations for the valuation. But the newer appraisers tend to be the ones who go out and look at a property to determine the grade of construction. And when do they do this? In the middle of the construction process. So the property is not even complete when they estimate the grade of construction. In addition, they don't have a written explanation of how to determine the grade. So analyze the grade of construction for your property and compare it to the grade of construction for other properties in the neighborhood. If the grade is higher than neighboring properties, your value will be higher. So compare the grade of construction for your home with the grade of construction for similar homes in the neighborhood. And if your grade of construction is higher, getting it corrected will reduce your property taxes this year and years into the future. Thanks for watching.